And maybe I should take it. Screen on. Nathan, Porter Noni, the guy we arrested with drugs in his locker, I've just heard he's dead. Who told you that? Santanini. Yes? Well, it looks like Porter Noni, Nathan. I mean, he, he must have set the device that caused the dumper launch failure. That's the way it looks. Does it? Yeah, he had the motive. The director wouldn't help him out of a jam when we nabbed him, and being shipped back to Earth would close off his career in space for good. And if he was mafia-controlled, that would explain why he was killed. Maybe. Career? You said career. Career in what? Rocketry Guidance Systems Engineering. But he was an engineer. Well, what the hell was he doing mucking around with the explosives? Well, why didn't he alter a coordinator to him? I mean, uh, who would have known? And certainly not Santonini. He's not an engineer or a scientist. He's a controller, a manager. I saw the graphics on the computer, Nathan, and you found the remains of the Sunsick explosive case. I didn't find it. I was given it, and You were shown what you were shown. Well, at least I bothered to take a look. Well, maybe you saw what you wanted to see. Look again. Screen off. What the hell's the matter with that guy? What's the matter with him? What's the matter with you, mate? File Gasper Condorini. I need explanations, Nathan. The Italian police are preparing charges accusing you of killing Bordenone. Look, Alex, I have not got any explanations. They're saying I'm a hitman. What possible motive could I have for killing him? Bordenone says you are taking payoffs up here to allow him to transport prohibited substances between Earth and Moon. When he was caught, they say he went down to Rome, killed him to stop him talking. I was sent to Earth. I didn't go there of my own accord. He tried to kill me. There's an inspector of police who says he found a drug in your room. He saw you, obviously, under its influence. Yes, yes, yes. I'm... Look, I was stupid enough to stip, stick the tip of my tongue into heroin concentrate 46. You're lucky to still have any senses left, Nathan. Alex. I am being framed. There's money being paid into my account. Look, I, I'm out on a limb on this one. I don't know who I can trust, but I know I am being set up. Why? Well, it's got to have something to do with this dumper crash. Although, what the connection between this and sending nuclear waste into space is, I just don't know. The sabotage? Not, not with glycoid night. I just don't believe it. There must be simpler ways. So, what is the solution? Uh, you haven't got a solution. Pity, Nathan. I shall be sorry to lose you for a moon base. Alex, can you buy me time? I must have time. The ESL will certainly suspend you. It's a question of necessity. The, the Italian papers are full of the scandal. I'm surprised you haven't yet been relieved of duty. I'm sorry, Nathan. It's, it's out of my hands. just in case. This is Moon Rover 3. Time delay message to Starcop Communicator Channel 7. I'm now approaching the sun. I got into the Aussie police computer. There's nothing criminal on Marla Condorini herself, but her dad apparently was a real crime lord. Got gunned down in a Sydney subway by order of a commission of crime bosses. Well, when was this? Uh, 1999. Well, when Marla was what? Six. Six. Yeah, but it's not that. It's the link to today, to Santanini. They're all linked. They're all Italian. Santanini's father was married to a Condorini sister. They're all family. Family, family. You mean mafia? Yeah. Well, they would help each other, wouldn't they? Blood being a greater density than water and all that. Yeah. How have they cooperated on this case? Well, not fully, but nothing to protest about. All right. Look, let's check back over everything that happened on the day of that launch. See if any of us have missed the obvious. Now, where's Kenzie? Uh, over at Sunzac. Through? Oh, hiding somewhere, probably. Buried in the administrative detail of avoiding action at any cost. That's enough. Box. Check on the monitoring record of Moonbase Communications Control on the day of the launch, 10-7. Compare it with the three previous Fridays. Let me know if there's any variation in uh, routine arrivals, departures, anything at all out of the ordinary. Yes, Nathan. And when you've done that, I want you to... Oh, David. It appears that I have no option but to relieve you of command, sir. What's that, Kane Mutiny? Fred McMurray? I've just received instructions from European Space Liaison that following your suspension from duty, I'm to take over control here, and you have to return to face an inquiry in Geneva. For what? Corruption, smuggling, and murder. What's the point in collecting all these meteorites, eh? They often contain valuable elements. Silicates, for example. 
Some we have yet to find a use for, but we will increasingly. There will be competition from rival companies out here. I'd like someone to keep our security secure. Have you discovered anything on the moon that could be worth protecting? Maybe. That's confidential. As a member of the team, you'd share in the proceeds. Sunsex going to expand, believe me. There might be room for you as part of our future. Would you like to think about it? Yeah. I reckon I would. Oh, excuse me. I'll take it to my cubicle. Two minutes. Give you a chance to consider. Right. I can't accept it. What? That now I'm your boss? No, not you. Nathan, it's a setup. It's gonna be. Look, Colin, will you use your head? It's bound to be a mistake. It'll be cleared up by the inquiry. I think I'm onto something. I've been working on a possible link between Santanini and Marla Condorini. Back up. Now, I intend to name Angelo Portadinoni as the saboteur oh, of the come on. Italia property with a simple motive of revenge. It is as straightforward as that, Colin. So you prepare an official statement and process it. Please. Now, where's Kenzie? Over at Sunzek, sir. What's she doing there? I don't know, sir. Well, look, you contact her right away. If she's not directly involved with collecting evidence of the theft of Sunsec explosives, you tell her to get her butt back over here, and I mean right away. Where's Nathan? Commander Spring is no longer part of this operation, or in charge of the Star Cops and Moon. Yeah, I had noticed. Look! I don't like this any more than you do, but I am insisting that you get on with your job. Or you may as well pack your bags and climb aboard that shuttle for Earth this afternoon with the commander. I thought you were on the snoop. Uranium, eh? It's a bit like striking oil back in the old days. Quite a discovery. But there's, uh, there's international restrictions. I mean, sale is prohibited. If the big five find out about it. Right. But lots of smaller nations are only too delighted to buy samples of our discovery illegally for profit. You know, Marla, I think Sunzek could be the kind of company with a future for me. <laughs> you are bright. <laughs> what a pity. On the day of 10-7, the most significant factor was a communications blackout that caused a corresponding lack of data to process on the tape. With previous cross-reference for data, this could be due to a moonquake that was predicted. Well, well that was the same day as the Santonio Italia launch. But that must have been virtually... What was the time of the launch? Virtually the same. A predicted moonquake? Tidal forces exerted onto the moon by Earth can be predicted. Such an occurrence 
was due on the day of the space dumper crash, Nathan. What could, could a moon tremor cause the launch to abort? Yes. Event which could have, should have been prevented. Box, you get me the exact time of that launch and the flight trajectory patterns. 36 and 23 6. Standard flight path. 16 6 and 10 7. A variation. 1 degree 17 minutes. All right. Where's that take us? Oh, very much. The deviant trajectory would bring dumper craft past disused space station S-9. 